Hey guys, it's Paula. I hope you are all doing okay out there, safe at home, handling all of this as best you can. I know it's a little hard. And probably the last thing on your mind is your hair, because if you're not leaving the house, why does it matter if your hair looks cute or not? I'm definitely guilty of letting my hair go. Like, I straightened it today, and this is the first time it's looked sleek and nice. <laughs> In a while, you know, there's no one to impress, but today I wanted to do a hairstyle based video centered around TikTok. Let me tell you, I only downloaded TikTok to follow like certain YouTubers that I watch because they will not stop talking about their TikTok videos and I'm like, okay, what's this all about? I don't spend a lot of time on there. I think the dances are a little much, like I don't want to sit there and watch 10,000 people dance to the same song. I don't know, I'm still not really convinced that I'm on the TikTok train, but I do like to watch the videos that are like makeup based and hair based. Like I used this makeup hack that I saw on TikTok today for my foundation and I think it's like sitting really well on my skin. If I keep doing that and it keeps working, then I'll talk about that in a different video. But I came across a lot of different hair tutorials and like hairstyle videos on TikTok and I'm so bored that I kind of just wanted to try some of them and see if I can recreate these beautiful girls and their beautiful hair and their beautiful hairstyles. Before we hop into that, I actually wanted to talk about a new hair brand I've been using lately. I really think my hair looks good today, like it's so sleek. And I think it's because I've been using this shampoo and conditioner and this entire brand for the past few weeks. The shampoo and conditioner I've been using lately are from the brand Mori. These are so good. They are paraben free, silicone free, fragrance free. It says it all on the back here. They smell like oranges it says um, orange just natural aroma so it's not like this fake scent that you're smelling I used to only buy my shampoo from the drugstore just like pick up the cheapest thing on the shelf at Target and then I read a lot of articles that say just how bad that is for your hair especially if there's silicone in it it just builds up and it might make your hair smoother or it might make the appearance a little better for a temporary time but eventually it's going to build up in your hair and it's just not good for you so it is better to use natural brands with only a few ingredients they have the ingredients box right here and you can actually read all of them instead of other brands that literally make them in the tiniest print and you don't even know what you're putting on your body. The shampoo says it removes excessive free radicals and fills your hair with 77 trace minerals, 18 amino acids, and vitamins. And then the conditioner also has those 77 trace minerals. So it just puts only good things in your hair. And I especially like the conditioner because it is so creamy and it feels so nice. I let it sit on my hair in the shower for like 10 minutes while well, I take really long showers, but I'm like shaving my legs and I'm using my body wash and I just let my conditioner sit there. And then when I rinse it out, my hair is so soft, so easy to comb when I get out. I also have this mineral repairing hair mask. Hair masks are so nice if you want a deep conditioning treatment, if you feel like you've been using heat tools a lot or your hair just is not working for you, use a hair mask. It's gonna look amazing. I would definitely recommend Mori hair products. They have made my hair so smooth and so nice over the past few weeks that I've been using them. And you can get 20% off if you use my code. I will have everything linked down below as always. So thank you Mori for partnering with me on this video. And now I am probably going to embarrass myself fully and do some really bad hairstyles. But let's open TikTok and I will show you the styles I'm gonna try today. Whoa. Sorry, I just <laughs> kicked my entire setup. This first one I saved, she does two hairstyles. The first one is Space Buns. I'm not gonna try it. I just already picture it not looking good on me, so I'm not gonna try Space Buns. But here is the second hairstyle that I'm going to attempt. I feel like all the girls in these videos have these bang sections of their hair, like they have layers, and I used to have layers. Um, now my hair is the same length everywhere. They also all have middle parts. I don't look good with a middle part. I'm not gonna do that, there's no way. She takes the front, she tosses everything in the back, and then you just pick up this. I feel like it just shows my bald spots, you know? Okay, and then we're just gonna put it into a ponytail? I feel like this is ridiculous. I feel like, okay, listen, I'm just gonna do it. I 
feel, okay, I'm starting over. <laughs> I feel like I need more, maybe I need smaller hair ties or more hair. I think I need more hair. Okay, really grab it. And we're gonna do this. And then she does the other side. Get my hair. This side's actually easier because my part allows me to have more hair on this side. I think it's easier when you get more in the ponytail. It's funny she calls them Bratz inspired high ponies. I actually never played with Bratz dolls. My mom didn't let me buy them. <laughs> I had Barbies though and Polly Pockets. Those were the fun days. Okay, here's my final look. My hair doesn't sit well like back here. It gets all like crumply and I can't make it smooth. I don't know. I guess I could have tried harder. I feel kind of fun though. I also think it would look better if these were a little shorter around my face. It just looks like I left hair out because it's all the same length, but I don't know. It's kind of cute, right? This side looks better. It's kind of cute, right? <laughs> Again, she has these tiny little almost bangs at the front that she leaves out, but I really like, I, I guess I could, what is this? Could I get this? <laughs> I'm just not gonna do that. I'm gonna skip that part. Okay, section towards front of ear. I'm gonna take this. Hello, come with me. You go back there. Okay. This is the part that I, like, how does this work? Okay, I'm gonna tie up the hair I'm not using in a pony. Now I'm going to combine both sides, she says. I thought my hair wouldn't be long enough for this, but it's actually kind of a similar length to hers. <laughs> combine both sides. Oh my God, I'm gonna choke myself. And create a braid. How? I have three strands here. And I'm gonna put them together. <laughs> oh my god, I literally can't breathe. <laughs> do I hair tie it? I do. Oh, I need a tiny hair hair tie. Okay, hold on. Tiny hair tie. This is so funny. <laughs> when I first watched this TikTok, I thought she was gonna leave it like this and it was supposed to be like a comedy video. And then she actually did the thing and I'm like, oh, I guess that's kind of cool. Grab the braid and put behind. I think I did it too tight around my chin. <laughs> okay. Put behind. Oh, I'm stuck. I shouldn't have worn hoop earrings. It got stuck. Oh my god, look at me. Oh my god. Okay. So... No, this doesn't work. Hello? What does the back look like? Someone tell me. What's it look like? It might have been better if I didn't do the braid so tight around my chin, but I guess I was afraid I didn't have long enough hair, so I was gonna run out. So I would say maybe try to do it, you know, not choking yourself, and then it's easier to flip it back too. But I would say it's just easier to do a braid, do a braid, put them together in the back. I've done that hairstyle before and it's cute, so uh, I would not recommend this one. The last one I'm going to try actually uses a bandana. I have never worn a bandana in my hair. This is the first one that I own. Thank you, Rachel, for sending it to me. I can also use this as a face mask in these trying times, but I'm going to use it as an actual bandana for my hair. Okay, again, everyone is starting with putting, <laughs> is this like a trend? Is this what the girls are doing now? You have to leave your front portion of hair out. 
I guess I need to get my next haircut to account for that. <laughs> okay, we have got our hair out. Put the rest back in a pony. Like this. Okay, hold on. Oh, and then you just tie it. And then you take your hair to the ponytail. Oh, I can do that, right? Oh my god. You guys, I don't know if this is the style for me. <laughs> it's okay. That's why you try things when you're in quarantine. Take that out. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I feel like I look like Cinderella or like I'm just gonna go clean a house. Like, <laughs> I don't. Maybe if these were short. I some girls look so cute in certain hairstyles and I like all I do is wear mine just like straight down or like <laughs> pinned up a little bit and that's it. I just, I don't know if things work for me like this. I feel silly, I'm taking it out, I'm taking it out. Well, it seems that that concludes our trying TikTok hairstyles for today. It's hard <laughs> to do hairstyles, I am not good at hair, like I could do makeup, whatever. I can't do hair, just not good at it. Let me know what are your favorite kind of TikToks to watch. I'm still trying to get into it. I wanna be hip, I wanna be one of the kids and like know what people are talking about and go on TikTok, but it just, I haven't gotten into it yet. So tell me who are your favorite TikTokers. I just hate saying it. Um, let me know what you watch <laughs> and I'll see if I can get into it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave some comments and make sure you're subscribed and also check out Mori hair products. I will leave everything linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.